Hi, I'm Sarah Bang. I'm a scientist in the Earth Science Branch here at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. I study lightning and hail, and today I'm going to talk to you about some shocking lightning questions. Where would be the best place in the world for Dr. Frankenstein to build his laboratory to get the most lightning? Well, lucky for me, I have brought the climatology of lightning all around the world from NASA's lightning imaging sensor that was built here at Marshall Space Flight Center. And it shows where the lightning is all around the world. And the most lightning in the world actually occurs right here at the tippy top of South America in Western Venezuela in a place called Lake Maracaibo. They get 297 lightning flashes per year. That's like six days a week. And to add to the spookiness, it peaks at 3 a.m. in the morning, so it's in the middle of the night. In folklore, witches are said to ride in with storm clouds during Halloween night. What safety tips would you give to those witches? Well, I generally wouldn't advise flying into thunderstorms on a witch's broom. In something like an airplane, you're perfectly safe, but on a broom, you're exposed to the elements. But if you must fly on Halloween night, you absolutely have to know the limitations of your aircraft before you fly. You need to know if you have a strong crosswind limitation like NASA's ER2, or if you have an altitude limitation like NASA's B777. Now that said, once you know the limitations of your aircraft, you're going to want to check the aviation forecast the National Weather Service issues every single day and uh, make sure you avoid turbulence. 